Hey guys, I just wanted to say before we got started on this video that my sound card is possessed. It's been doing, making some really crazy sounds, almost like I've been adding some effects or something to my audio, which I have not. So if it sounds odd or yeah, if it just sounds weird, I don't, I don't know what is going on. Um, I, I finally just kind of decided I've been having a lot of issues with it that I'm just going to buy a new sound card. So anyways, I'm aware, I'm working on it, we'll get it taken care of. So here we go. Welcome to Python for Hackers. Today we're going to be learning how to read and write files in Python. So let's get into it. So to read and write files in Python, you basically need to take three main steps. First, you need to open the file in its appropriate file mode, and we'll talk about those. Once you have the file open, then you'll go ahead and execute whatever operations you want to execute, such as reading the file or writing to the file. And lastly, when you're done, you want to close the file. So let's go ahead and talk about the file modes basically three different file modes. The first one we're going to talk about is the read mode and it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the mode that you will use when you want to read a file. Uh, next we have a write mode and again self-explanatory. This is the mode you're going to use when you want to write to a file. And then lastly we have the append mode. This will open the file for writing where new data is added to the end of the file. So basically when you're in a pin mode, it's not going to overwrite the file, but it'll merely move the cursor or the stream to the very end of the file and start adding on from there. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So let's get into it and start coding. All right, so I have Kali loaded up here. I have a All terminal right, so I have on Kali. the left-hand side, and I have my uh, text editor on the right side that I'm going to be writing my code. So all I've done is basically just logged uh, into my system, opened up a ter terminal. I've created a new folder called Python. That's what you can see here on the screen. And then inside this folder is where I have all of these different Python files that we're going to go over. All right, so now you have a little context. Let's start with reading files. So I have a simple um, Python script here that will basically open up the file. It'll read some data. Actually, it'll read the entire file and print it to the screen and then close the file. So first thing first, let's go ahead and just run it. Uh, before we do that, let's take a look at the data.txt file that we're going to be working with in our examples. And as you can see, it's basically just a uh, simple username password file. It's got three different lines in it. So that's what we're going to be working with. So let's go ahead and run our first Python script. And you can see it says open file data.txt mode r at and it has a memory address and then we have close file data.txt mode r at and again the same memory address so now let's go through the code and see what's happening here all right so that's for python we have our comment and this is our first line of code so basically we're declaring a variable here named file then we're using the open function to open the text file named data.txt. And we have a file inside our folder named data.txt. And we're opening that, opening that with the R mode, which is read mode. So now we have opened the data.txt file in read mode and we have it 
declared in the file variable. Next, we're going to print that file variable. Now what that's going to do is it's not going to print the actual contents of the file. It's just going to print basically the status of the file. And that's what you saw here. So this is the first print statement that you can see right here. So basically at this point, when it printed, when it uh, printed this line, our file was currently open and it was in the read mode. Our line, or rather our uh, program ignored this line of code because it's commented out and then moved on to the next, which is the file close. It's basically closing our data file. And then once again, we're printing the status of the file to the screen. And that's this line here. And you can see since we closed the file, the file is now in a closed status. All right, so let's go ahead and uncomment this line. And now we're going to actually read something from the file because we haven't actually read from the file yet. We've merely opened it to get ready to read it, but not actually read from it. All right, so we uncommented that line of code, saved it, and now let's go ahead and run our script again. All right, this time you can see we still have our open status, but now we have the contents of our file and the close status. So that was pretty easy. Let's move on to the next script. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to read a file, but we're going to um, we're going to use the read line function. So let's go ahead and just a reminder, this is what we have in our text file. So now let's go ahead and run our read lines Python script. So you can see we have um, basically two different outputs here. We have this Elliot.recnac or whatever that is, which is the uh, line one. And then we have this SAR. So let's go ahead and dissect our Python script and see what's going on. All right, so we open our file. We're opening it for read, so that's nothing new there. But now we have this read line function. Um, so basically we're opening our file and then we're calling the read line function and printing that to the screen. So that is this Elliot line right here. So that makes sense. All right, so then next we have another read line function, but this, kind, this time it's being called with a parameter of the number three. And what that is saying is I want you to return three characters from the current line that we're reading. It doesn't have to be three, it could obviously be any number that you wanted. But in this instance, it's, it was three. And if you notice, it was the characters S-A-R, which is the characters from the second line of the file. Did you notice that it didn't read from the same Elliot line, but it read from the next line? Because the read line is just that, it's reading one line. And once you've read that line, said and done, it's now going to move on to the next line. So that's why in this instance, we, ha we were returned the characters S-A-R. So that's that, pretty simple. Well, let's move on to the next one. So now we're just gonna show an example of looping through a file. Um, this is useful for when you wanna process a file line by line. You know, maybe you don't wanna read it all in at once. Maybe it's a really big file. And it just doesn't make sense to load this huge file on the memory. Instead, just load it line by line, processing it line by line. That way you don't have to load it all into memory at one time. So in this example, we are basically just going to loop through our data.txt file. So let's go ahead and just run this. And you can see it has looped through our data.txt file and printed the contents of each line to the screen. 
So let's go through our file. So you can see we have the typical open uh, statement, opening our data.txt file in the read mode. And next we're using a for loop to loop through our file, which will then return each line to our loop, which we then print to the screen and we continue to do this until we reach the end of the file and then we close our file. And you can see here, that's exactly what's happened. If we were to look at the contents of our file, you can see that our script has merely printed each line to the screen. All right, now let's um, do some writing of files. So we have our write Python script. Let's go ahead and run this. Before we do that, actually, once again, let's take a look at our file here. Okay, let's go ahead and run our script. Okay, we ran it. It did its thing. Now let's take a look at our data file again. And now it has changed. Now it says feed the, and that's it. And you also notice that it didn't put our uh, command line on a new line. And that's because we did not add those characters in the right uh, statement there. If we wanted this to be placed on a new line, we would have to add the following, which is a new line in return carriage. All right, but we didn't do that, but we can see that we wrote the text feed the to our data.txt file. So that was pretty simple. Open the file, write to it, close it. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, now we're going to use the append mode. And again, you can see the data.txt file has not changed, still feed the. So let's go ahead and run our script. Let's look at our data file now. And now you can see our file says feed the code monkey. So we use the append file mode to add text to an existing file. So as you can see, we opened our file and we opened it in append mode. Then we simply just uh, use the write function to write the text code monkey to our file and then we closed it. It's pretty simple. I mean, Python's pretty awesome like that. That's why we like using it, because it makes tasks easy. All right, guys, let's move into one last example. And this is just going to be a, just a very small um, application, just kind of taking these concepts and just kind of putting them into something other than these basic little programs. So what we're going to do here is we have a um, we have a Python script that is going to loop through the password file on um, our system here, and it's going to look for the user Elliot. When it finds the user Elliot, it's then going to take that um, line in the password file and then write it to a new file inside a directory on the full, on the hard drive and then close that file. So basically we're just going to open the password file. We're gonna loop through it until we find a specific user. When we find that user, we're gonna copy their data and we're gonna write that to a different file. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through this code. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open the password file in the user mode, or rather the file mode read. Um, also, I just mentioned it it'd probably just to be best, just go ahead and run this application as root. That way you don't worry, have to worry about any file permission issues. Okay, so moving on. Um, next, we are going to start our for loop. This is going to loop through the password file line by line. All right, so once we get to our uh, line, we are then going to hit a if statement. And this is if statement is going to say, 
do we have the text Elliot anywhere is inside the line that we're currently working with. Now, if this were to be true, meaning there is the text Elliot in the current line, then what this function does is it will, it will return a number and that number will be the starting point of your text. So basically, if this, if this function returns any number greater than negative one, then we know it found the text Elliot inside that line. So basically that's saying true. So once we find the user that we're looking for, in this case, Elliot, we're then gonna print to the screen saying, hey, we found our user. We're then going to open a new file inside the uh, root folder, Python folder, in a file called log.txt. And you can notice we open that file in write mode. We're then going to write the current line from the password file to our log file. We're then gonna close the log file, exit out of our loop, and close our password file, and our application is now complete. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. All right, again, before we do that, let's take a quick look at the password file. <clears throat> so you can see at the very bottom, we have our Elliot line. One more time, and one more thing. You can see we do not have a log.txt file here. All right, and you can see it said to the screen, found Elliot logging record. Do we have a file there? We do. So let's go ahead and count the context. And there it is. The line from the password file that we found through our Python script. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. That is how you read and write files in Python. See, it's not that hard. You got this. I greatly appreciate you watching my video, guys. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, throw me a like. It's very motivating for me to make more videos. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll get notifications about new videos. And I will see you guys on the other side.